this is a very important question we learn a lot of things from this question we have two plates of charge density sigma and minus sigma and surface area each of a till a distance of d1 there is a material of dielectric constant k1 and over here there is a material of dielectric constant k2 now we need to find out what is the potential difference between the two plates the energy stored in the two dielectrics and the total capacitance of this system now let us solve the first part by the concept of dielectrics just remember the simple most simple definition or method the electric field if there was no dielectric was equal to sigma upon epsilon 0 and the direction of electric field is from positive charge to negative charge now what happens when a dielectric is introduced when a dielectric of dielectric constant suppose k is introduced throughout this area then what will happen is that the electric field will be reduced by a factor of k so simply the electric field will become sigma upon k epsilon 0 so by applying this logic in the above example above given question this was a material k1 this is sigma this is minus sigma this is k1 and this is k2 the electric field in this region is sigma upon k1 epsilon 0 the electric field in this region will be sigma upon k2 epsilon 0 so the potential difference vs1 minus vs2 will be equal to sigma upon k1 epsilon 0 into d1 since this is d1 and this is d2 that is equal to the electric field into the distance plus sigma upon k2 epsilon 0 into d2 this is the re reduction in potential and as we know if we go in the direction of electric field the potential reduces so while going from here to here the potential reduces by this much that is e into d and while going from here to here the electric uh, the potential reduces by this much that is again e into d that is the potential over here into the distance traveled so we know the value of vs1 minus vs2 to be equal to sigma d1 upon k1 epsilon 0 plus sigma d2 upon k2 epsilon 0 this is our answer to the first part now we need to find out the energy stored in the two dielectrics so for finding out the energy stored in the two dielectrics there is a simple formula the energy density in this region will be equal to half epsilon naught epsilon r into e square here epsilon r is nothing else but the dielectric constant of the medium e is the electric field in the medium this gives you the energy density in a particular region with electric field e so let us write the energy in k1 in k1 dielectric this will be equal to half epsilon naught into k1 that is er is equal to k1 into electric field whole square that is equal to sigma upon k1 epsilon 0 whole square similarly energy once again this is the energy density we will have to multiply it by the volume to get the energy stored in this dielectric that is equal to a into d1 this is the volume energy density into volume gives you gives us the energy stored in the k1 dielectric now similarly we can write the energy in k2 dielectric to be equal to energy k2 is equal to half epsilon 0 k2 into sigma upon k2 epsilon 0 simply by replacing k2 over here in this equation and d1 by d2 whole square into a d2 so let us write the answers clearly over here vs1 by v, minus vs2 comes out to be equal to sigma d1 upon k1 epsilon 0 plus sigma d2 upon k2 epsilon 0 this comes out to be equal to here as we get it epsilon naught k1 upon 2 sigma upon k1 epsilon 0 whole square into a d1 and similarly for k2 we can get it by replacing k1 by k2 so now we need to find out the third part that is the capacitance of this system now we always remember just one formula for the capacitance so the only formula you should always use is the total capacitance of a system is equal to the total charge on the two plates suppose this is q this is minus q then the capacitance will be equal to and the potential over here is v1 and the potential over here is v2 then the capacitance of this system will be equal to q upon v1 minus v2 
there is the total charge upon the potential difference between the two plates. So, for this system also we write it in a similar fashion the capacitance will be equal to that is the resultant capacitance this will be equal to sigma into a this is the total charge upon the potential difference that is V s 1 minus V s 2. So, this comes out to be equal to let, let me write this as C, C is equal to sigma a upon V s 1 minus V s 2 this becomes equal to C, sigma a upon V s 1 minus V s 2 is we have already found out this is equal to sigma d 1 upon k 1 epsilon 0 plus sigma d 2 upon k 2 epsilon 0. Now, 1 upon C comes out to be equal to sigma d 1 upon k 1 epsilon 0 plus sigma d 2 upon k 2 epsilon 0 upon sigma a. This is equal to d 1 upon k 1 epsilon naught into a plus d 2 upon k 2 epsilon 0 a. So, we have got a final answer for capacitance already here, but I am just showing this to remind you of one more thing. One thing you should have noticed that 1 upon c is coming out to be equal to d 1 upon k 1 epsilon naught a plus d 2 upon k 2 epsilon naught a. We already know that when we had a capacitor and with a dielectric field here with k the capacitance of the capacitor c nu comes out to be equal to epsilon naught k a upon d. This k is the dielectric. So, this becomes epsilon naught k a upon d. So, what we see here is that we know that there is a potential at this point also developed. So, this system acts like one capacitance and this system acts like another capacitor and these two capacitor capacitors are in series because the if, if they would have been in parallel they, they should have a common potential, but since they both of them do not do not have a common potential these two are in series and this we see as the formula for resultant capacitance when the two capacitances are in series. So, we could have directly found out the capacitance using this formula also, we could have treated this as one capacitor of epsilon naught k 1 a upon d in series with epsilon naught k 2 a upon d. This system is equivalent to this system and we could have used this to found find out the resultant capacitance by the formula 1 upon c is equal to 1 upon c 1 plus 1 upon C2. Another thing you can note down over here is that the answer to the B part could have been also found out more easily. The total energy stored in the two dielectrics is always equal is equal to the total energy stored in this capacitor that is equal to total charge on the capacitor whole square upon 2 times C. Now, this is equal to sigma A whole square that is the total charge whole square upon 2 times into 1 upon C. 1 upon C is equal to d 1 upon k 1 epsilon naught a plus d 2 upon k 2 epsilon naught a this becomes equal to sigma a whole square upon 2 into d 1 upon k 1 epsilon naught a plus d 2 upon k 2 epsilon naught a. This is the total energy stored in the two dielectrics using the formula for energy of a capacitor that is equal to half of c equivalent into v square. You could have used this also this is the potential difference across the two plates or you could have used total charge whole square upon 2 c. Both these formulas are applicable. We used q square upon 2 c to find out the total energy stored in the capacitor that is equal to total energy stored in the two dielectrics that comes out to be equal to this and as we can check this is equal to the this plus the charge on the uh, plus the energy stored in the second dielectric. You can check it out this comes out to be equal to this plus the energy in the second dielectric. So, we see here that the questions on capacitance and uh, dielectrics can be solved in various methods but uh, you just have to keep in mind the fundamentals and use the best methods to solve the question.